Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Trust Braced Wing from Boeing and NASA. Be sure to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Boeing led invention. This invention is currently being led by Boeing to build an aircraft that can actually take advantage of truss braced wings. While Boeing is not the inventor of this type of wing concept, they are the only airplane manufacturer currently being contracted to build an airplane with this kind of specification. This type of wing construction is really a breakthrough in the aviation industry. Most large commercial airliners today use what we call cantilever wings, which means that the wings are stuck out from the fuselage and is more of a low wing configuration. And the reason for this is because high wings in the past produce more drag and flow slower and therefore cantilever wings overtook high wings. Some people say that high wing aircraft is easier to fly, but low wing is more common on airliners. Now let's get into the next fact, fact two, fuel efficiency. Part of the reason why the truss brace wings are being developed is really for fuel efficiency. As we all know, airliners and for the climate is really striving for situations where you could fly further, higher for less fuel because no one wants to consume more fuel than necessary which is not just bad for the environment but also bad for business because it will cost more. And so the truss brace wings through NASA's wind tunnel simulations showcase the efficiency that is not seen in cantilever wings. NASA and Boeing are currently projecting a 8 to 10% more fuel efficiency for the same type of aircraft and same amount of load just by using the truss brace wing design. Again, this is a new breakthrough and relatively new invention that's not yet proven in real practical scenarios but shows great promise in simulated environments in the wind tunnel. A lot more testing needs to be accomplished and also verified before actually going to production. And so it's likely you won't see this type of wing anytime soon. Now let's get into the next fact. Fact three, high aspect ratio. Aspect ratio in the world of aviation really means the wing area. The way to calculate the aspect ratio of an aircraft is to first find the wingspan of the aircraft. You square this number, and then you find the su wing surface area, and then you take that squared number and divide it by the wing surface area. Because of simple math, it's fairly easy to see that gliders all have really extremely high aspect ratios. With high aspect ratio, it's much easier to obtain lift to get into the sky and stay afloat, as well as glide. Conversely, low aspect ratio are meant for things like fighter jets where they need maneuverability over the ability to glide and have good lift. Because for fighter jets, they have such powerful engines in a small airplane that they don't care to generate as much lift as possible with the smallest engine possible. In fact, fighter jet probably wants the most powerful engine they can handle to have the ultimate maneuverability and speed. Because the goal is fuel efficiency, truss brace wings were going to have high aspect ratio to glide and lift easier with smaller engines. Now let's get into the next fact, fact four, higher and faster. Part of the reason the truss brace wings are getting so much attention is because theoretically, they will allow airplanes to fly higher and faster with less power. The key to improve these efficiencies is really the trust wings. Because the wing aspect ratio is much greater, there's more lift and less drag, 
enabling the engine to work less, so increasing fuel efficiency. But at the same time, with the same powerful engines that the airliner uses, because there's less drag, the engine can propel the airplane at a higher speed. So therefore, the airplane can fly higher and faster using the same engine, but a different set of wings. It is very promising to reduce travel time for everybody. Now let's get into the next fact. Fact 5. Research started in 2014. Despite making the news today, at the time of this video, this invention actually started back in 2014 by NASA alone. NASA Ames Research Center in Moffett Field, California used the wind tunnel and various designs and actually published a paper about truss brace wings being more fuel efficient, producing less drag, creating more lift, and thus being better for airline travels. The Ames Research Center published the paper and then invited aviation industries to participate. And as a result, Boeing was selected to build the first prototype aircraft. Boeing was awarded a $1.1 billion contract to build a new type of aircraft with truss brace wings. It's really a win-win for everybody because Boeing now has to develop this new type of aircraft using NASA's money while NASA gets a industry manufacturer that's ready to produce aircraft and therefore they can put their invention into reality at a much faster rate than if they were to build it on their own. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.